August 1st, we announced the winner of the $10,000. And all you have to do is enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. Pay in full or get on the payment plan. And what we're going to do is give one of the contestants, one of the people who've bought into the course, $10,000. And what are you gonna learn in the Corporate Citizen Playbook? How to set up a holding company. That's something we're going really, really hard on this week. And there's something that's called a corporate sprint where you have live access to me during a webinar. So we got a lot of stuff that's going on. So what you wanna do is go ahead and get into the Corporate Citizen Playbook before July 1st, because that's when the price is gonna go up. And all next month, we're gonna be talking about the most important part of a business, how to get customers. So with that, let's get into this video. I was looking at my comments section and it was in reference to the $10,000 and someone made a comment that I am too poor to afford a chance to participate in the contest which means that you have to buy you have to enroll this isn't like a free contest where you could just watch or maybe send in uh i don't know i don't even know i don't know but essentially you have to buy the corporate citizen playbook or you have to enroll as a student on a payment plan to be eligible to get the ten thousand dollars and i saw the comment and here's something that you need to know we live in the united states of america if you want money and your current occupation isn't enough, you need two jobs. And let me go ahead and just kind of go way back in time. When I used to be a very poor person, I, I just didn't have any money, I didn't have any credit, and this landed me in a really bad situation where I was living in a boarding house with crackheads and drug dealers and other people of ill repute. And I was miserable and I wallowed in self-pity for about two years. And that third year, I just couldn't take it anymore. I came upon the realization why, while I was in that boarding house, because I didn't have any money. That was the reason that I was in that boarding house. And I began to develop a new attitude and I began a program of rigorous self-education. There was self-education and there was something that was really, really important called action. When I was in that boarding house, I came across a conclusion that the reason that I was in that boarding house was I didn't have no money. I didn't have a savings account, I didn't have an emergency. I didn't have no money. So I took it upon myself. I had my main gig, which was at Powertel, which now is T-Mobile. And then on the weekends, every other weekend, I got another job and I took all of that money from that second job and shoved it into an emergency fund, a savings account. Got up to almost $4,000. And this is the thing that saved me when I got laid off from Powertel and I was able to pay my bills, live. I was out of a job for six weeks and this was enough money for me to pay my bills, to eat, to do the things I need to do. And this is something that's funny. I didn't use up the whole $4,000. I didn't use up the whole 4,000. So this was a first stance and this is one of the reasons that I give you the money course for free because here's the thing. Let's go ahead and have a conversation. You're broke, you're disgusted, you want to make some money. Let's, let's be really factual. You don't want to make some money, you want to make a lot of money. And let's go ahead and put a name on that money. You want to make $10,000 a month, but you also want to have a lot of free time. And I'm about to tell you from practical experience, those two things usually do not hang out at the same street corner. Hanging $10,000 a month and having a lot of free time. And once again, we're in the United States of America where we have something that's called an HB V1 visa, where we import people from Europe, not Europe, I would say India, China. You know why we import these people? Because they know how to do math. And why do we have to import these people? And this is one of the reasons that so many people do not understand where they live. When you're broke, the first thing you need to do is get a second or third job. That's what you need to do. And then go ahead and get you some attitude money. And we will say this attitude money needs to be at a minimum $5,000. That's in the savings account. At a minimum, it needs to be 5,000. And then once again, 
you will have all your bills paid off. You will not have a car note. And then, because here, here's one of the big issues that impacts so many people, stress. It's very hard to start a successful business when you are stressed out. And I can't think of a higher stress level than being broke. I can't think of a higher stress level than being broke, not having any money. That's one of the most stressful positions. So this is what I did. I actually had a job when I started my first business and I actually kept my job for the first year of my first business. Now, why did I do that? Because I was living in that boarding house and I knew what it was like not to have any money. So I had a job that was producing six figures and I had a business that produced $250,000. So I kept both of them. And because of those lessons that I learned in that boarding house, I saved all of the money that I made from my first business. Why was I able to save all my money? Because I had a job. <laughs> you know, people are under this delusional fantasy that you are a regular person working a regular job and you're going to go out and figure out some kind of magic where you're going to be a regular person and you're going to create this very high level of personal income, 10,000 per month, 20,000 per month, 30,000 per month. You're going to produce this really high level of income, right? But you're a regular person. You've got a car note, maybe student loan debts, credit card debts, a mortgage, or maybe you live in an apartment. And here's the thing that you need to understand. You are not going to make a lot of money being a regular person. Let me say that again. You're not going to make a lot of money being a regular person. One of the things that you would have to do is become highly irregular. So first thing you need to do is absorb all of the self-education that you can. That's the first thing. Second thing you need to do is to be deploying that self-education into action. I've had some comments up here about some of my business practices and I don't talk about this, but I have spent a lot of money on things that did not work. This year, I would say I spent maybe, here's the 14,000. Let's just go ahead and say I spent $20,000 on things that just didn't work out or failed projects or something went wrong. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how did I come up with the 20,000? And this is why the money management course is free. Y'all can fight with me. You can go ahead and say it. But the first thing you need to do is get your personal income under control and to be financially stable. Once again, minimum $5,000 in the bank, no personal debt or very limited personal debt. So you can breathe because there is some like, I, I listened to the Dave Ramsey show more so to listen to these stories of people getting in fantastical sums of debt. I mean, you got a married couple and between our student loans and our car notes and our credit card debt, we're 300, 400, $500,000 in debt. And that, that, that just, just blows my mind. But that is the American way to be in a fantastical sum of debt and not, because here's the thing, and this is the big thing that's slowing you all down. Number one, when you are broke, you need to work more. I mean, you got a job, great. And let me just go ahead and give you some pathology. Let's say you got a job working Monday through Friday, and this job pays you $35,000 a year. If you were to go ahead and drive for Uber on Saturday only, just Saturday only, go ahead and start at eight o'clock in the morning and do a 12 hour shift and go at eight o'clock at night, you're gonna make 300 to $400, I could say safely. And if you took that money, all of that money, and just shoved it into an emergency room and you drove every Saturday, took Sunday off, you would be at, let's just go ahead and say 350 to make it. 350, that's 700, that's $1,400 per month that you would make working one extra day out the week and still taking Sundays off. And you go ahead and put that money into a savings account and you go ahead and let it stack up. And if you did that for a year, you would have $16,000 in the bank. 
But here's one of the issues, and this, this, is, this is such a big issue. Right now, in the United States of America, we have plenty of jobs that people do not want. And to me, and please answer this in the comments, how can you be broke and choosy? Broke and picky? It don't make no sense. Because if you're broke, you're living with people, you're struggling to make it, you need a second job. You need a second job. You can do Uber, you can do Lyft, you can do DoorDash, you can do Instacart. There are so many services if you go ahead and start at eight o'clock on a Saturday morning and go to eight o'clock Saturday night. There are so many ways that you can minimum make an, a 250 a day. I say minimum, 250 and some days you may make 400 bucks and just take all that money and put it in a savings account because I'm about to say something that's gonna be very, very controversial. In this 2023, if you're broke in the United States of America today, it is a personal choice. You choose to be broke because you don't wanna work. Now, I know that that's gonna be really an aggressive statement and a lot of people are gonna be really agitated. I really don't care because I was living in a boarding house. I was homeless, I was poor. So I know what it is to be at the worst of the worst, to be in a situation where your stomach is grumbling and you don't have no money for food. I know what that feels like. And this is one of the reasons that even though I have it really good right now, I still consistently work because I know what's out there. I know what's waiting. And there are many of you out there who simply do not want to work. You know, you, you will take a job if the job is plumb, if the job is pristine, the job is really easy, pays well, and gives you a lot of freedom. That's the job you're looking for. And I'm just sitting here like, I saw a video today that was talking about the great educational system was a trap. And it's only a trap if you don't think any further than going to school, getting out, and just getting a regular job. And this is one of the things that I, I mentioned, you cannot be a regular, normal person and make a high income. And I will go ahead and define, for me, knowing what I know statistically that 85% of America makes less than $40,000 a year, for the average person to get to $10,000 per month is a very high income. You get the 10,000 per month, you pay 2,500 bucks in per, per taxes, and you have 7,500 left over. That 7,500 left over is literally three to four times what the average person brings home. So for the average person, getting to $10,000 on a consistent basis per month is a very high income. And you have people who will flash on the YouTube channel, do this. And th this is one of the things I love. With, the, with some of the people in the credit card space. Navy Federal is not going to give you an $80,000 credit limit on a credit card with an average salary. It's just not going to happen unless you go ahead and inflate your stated income. And this is one of the things, I see people who want to remain average, who don't want to work, who don't want to put in the extra effort, but for somehow, for some reason, these people feel that there's a, there's, a, there's a hitch, there's a hookup, there's a snag, there's something that they can do for maybe 15, 20 hours per week, make 10, 20, $30,000 per month and have the money and the time freedom. Let me go ahead and tell you how you can have the money and time freedom. Number one, you keep your job. Number two, you start a business. Number three, you work harder than you're working now. Number four, you save money and you do this for two to three years, you will have an opportunity in the future to dictate your day. You will have an opportunity to kind of cut back. Like, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Most mornings I wake up 8.30 and you know, I wake up when I wanna wake up and I go to sleep when I wanna go to sleep. I'm at that point because years and years and years ago, I did the work. When I was in the storage auction business, I used to work 12 to 16 hours per day. And I'm very proud of that because this went on for years between running Craigslist ads, going to auctions, unloading units. There was a lot of work to be done. And that's the thing. And this is why I say, if you're broke in 2023, it is a personal choice because the work that you are fit to do, you don't wanna do it 
because for some reason you want to be broke and picky and let me go ahead and just explain some stuff to you. And this is one of the reasons I'm working hard. We're going to have a recession in the end of 2023 into 2024. And what do you need to do before the recession gets here? Because technically we're not in the recession. Technically, you need to be economically prepared before the recession. It's going to be really, really hard for you to become economically prepared during the recession unless you are someone who's exceptional, willing to do the hard work, willing to actually do the choices, willing to buckle down. Because like I said, in 2023, in the United States of America, if you are broke, it's because you do not want to do the work. Everybody wants to be a YouTuber. And this, this, this let's just talk about this. The top 10% of YouTubers make 90% of the YouTube money, right? and the top 10% of YouTubers make the majority of the money. Do you understand that 75% of YouTubers don't make any money? 75%, you wanna know why they don't make any money? They don't wanna do the work. I'm at a point where it's just a habit where I'm consistently watching YouTube videos so I know what goes on with YouTube. To be a successful YouTube, and you know, from AdSense, I don't really consider myself to be a successful YouTuber from AdSense, but my AdSense is two to three thousand dollars per month. And one of the things, you know, for the average person, that would be a lot of money. That would be a lot of money. For me, you know, it's just, you know, I have bills. I have bills associated with my YouTube. So that money goes ahead and pay for the bills. But one of the things that you have to understand is if you want to be successful in these United States of America, you have to be open to doing the work that you are fit for right now. Maybe three, four years in the future, you'll be a different person. You'll have a different level of skill sets. But right now, if working in Burger King and working in Uber is all you can do, that's what you need to do until you develop skills. Now, I'm gonna hear this but man, I'm working two jobs. When am I gonna have time to learn these new skills? Let me explain it to you. I was working a full-time job and I was working a part-time job. You know what I did every evening when I came home? I didn't have a television. I would go to my books, I would listen to my tapes, I would do my study after work, and this went on for years. That's when you do it. You have to make good personal choices. Am I gonna watch TV or I'm gonna learn a new skill set? So. Just like I had the time when I was working two jobs, you have the time. But once again, are you going to invest that time into something that's going to be productive in the future? Or are you just going to just sit back and Netflix and chill? It's all a personal choice. And I will stand by this statement. In 2023, if you're broke and you don't have money, it's because it's a personal choice to liberate people who have prepared themselves. Cause once again, my selling has changed. Um, one of the things I'm making these videos to attract a different audience of people who are willing to do the work, who are willing to upgrade, who are willing to level themselves up to a different system, to a different economic reality. And this is one of the things that's gonna happen with the corporate citizen playbook. I'm gonna teach you how to set up a corporation. I'm gonna teach you how to set up an oper uh, operating company. I'm gonna teach you how to set up your banking. And more importantly, in the month of June, I'm gonna teach you how to get customers, which is one of the most important skill sets that any entrepreneur needs to have. And there are many, many different ways to get customers. You can get customers organically, you can get customers with paid traffic. There's a lot of things that you can do to go ahead and to go ahead and start getting paid customer, paying customers into your business. So the link is gonna be below. Go ahead and enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook because on July 1st, the price goes up. That's all I got for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.